Tara Lynn with Five Acres Honey Farm. I am standing kind of in this like midway between uh, the main level of our house and our basement. There are all these shelves that I've kind of repurposed in the past year as a pantry uh, for the tea that I uh, collect from the garden. I just reused a bunch of, you know, typical like salsa jars and even my old honey jars and I just reuse them for the teas. But what I also put in here are, uh, well, I'm making a Four Thieves uh, cleaning vinegar, and I have what might look like ice cream, but it's not. <laughs> I have been storing in here since November 1st, eggs. <laughs> and, and I've got eggs in wood ash, and I had done some research to figure out uh, some good non-refrigerated ways of preserving eggs for a few different reasons, both to preserve our chicken eggs, but uh, since we hatched quail last fall and we still don't know how many hens versus roosters we have, uh, to be able to have ways of preserving the quail eggs and the chicken eggs so that we'll have them at times when they may not be laying as much. So what I did, and I'll, I'll show you what the inside of this looks like in a second, I just filled it up with wood ash, and sorry for the extra noise, my dog's walking around and his nails are, are kind of loud. Um, I filled this with, with wood ash, and then I put the eggs in here. And the thing that I did not do, which I'm curious about, is I didn't keep a thermometer in this area. And I have a feeling, because like just below here is where the hot water heater is, and then behind, and then right below this is the water pump. And then the other little space on the other side of this wall is where our heating unit, the inside heating unit is. And I'm just wondering if it's just been warm in here because I've noticed that um, when I've left cartons of eggs stored in here, that they don't last very long. Where they should, like if I left them um, in the kitchen, if I left just a regular carton of eggs in the kitchen, it would last maybe two months uh, and when I've left them in here, they don't really last beyond like six weeks. So one of the things that I want to do is see how these have stored. I put these two tubs in here a week apart. So one was on October 25th, last year, 2020, and the other was on November 1st, 2020. And I'm going to try the ones that are oldest first. And if any of those, um, if they're all bad, then I'll open the other tub and take a look and see how those are. My friend gave me these tubs. And she was going to throw them away, but she knows I like to repurpose things. And I decided to use them for this. So this is just all wood ash from our wood burning stove. And I, you know, the eggs aren't really buried too far down in here. It's kind of like a, it's like harvesting potatoes, a little archaeological dig. And these are were unwashed eggs that I put in here. And I forget how many I put in, so we'll just have to kind of dig around and make sure we get them all. And I, you know, could just reuse this ash again for some more eggs, or I could throw it in the garden. Uh, I've been actually using our current wood ash, the extra, as little dust baths for the quail. So what I'm gonna do is a little float test here. I just have a little tub of water and I'm gonna drop it in there. And if it floats, it is bad. If it sinks to the bottom, then it's good and then I'll wash them off and I'll put them in the fridge. So let's take a look and see. Take off my rings so that I don't get a bunch of wood ash and stuff on them. But unfortunately, this one floats. So number one, no good. <laughs> and I should probably get something to put these guys in. All right, these will be the ones that are no good. And these, again, like I said, these are all unwashed. This one is bad as well. So I was worried about it not it being too warm in there. Um, so these were unwashed. So that means if I do encounter any eggs that have passed, which does not appear that that's happening so far, um, then I would just wash them off and I would either cook them right away or I will store them in the fridge because once they're, they've touched water, the protective coating on the outside, which is called the bloom that the chicken puts on right when she lays it. Uh, once that's off, 
Oh, I thought I was getting lucky. This one was kind of sinking a little bit, but it's definitely floating, so no good either. So once that coating is off, then there's uh, a very high risk of bacteria getting into the egg. This is my very last egg so far 100% of them have not stayed fresh so let's see yep another bad one okay there were eight eggs in my first container and I think I had eight in my second so now I have a little over a dozen totally rotten eggs and I'm gonna put these in the garden in the compost and crush them up once I get out there. Although I am disappointed that not one egg remained fresh with this experiment, like I said, I think it's a little too warm in that pantry area, so I am going to set up a thermometer over there and also actually take an effort to find the coolest spot in the basement, and I'm gonna try this again. Right now I have about a dozen fresh eggs, and I don't really need to cook with eggs, today, tomorrow, the next day. So the chickens are laying about one, two, three eggs a day right now. So by the time I need eggs, I'll have fresh ones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half dozen eggs and put them in the tub and put them in a cooler spot in the basement for now. And then next week or the week after, I'll put another half dozen in here um, in the other tub. So I had uh, about eight eggs in each tub. So this way, there'll be at least four eggs that won't be sacrificed <laughs> with this next experiment. It's February now, so the next time I'm going to check the tubs is going to be in June or July. And in June or July, we're going to have an abundance of eggs because the chickens are laying at their peak with the long days, but it'll still be good to run the experiment so that I can learn from it and store some summer eggs in the right way so that this time next year, when the girls are slowing down, I'll have fresh eggs from last summer uh, or from this coming summer to, <laughs> to you. Have you tried doing this method before? Maybe I'm not burying the eggs in the ash as well as I, sh as I should. That's another thing I'm going to do differently. I saw some cool videos about freeze drying eggs. I think that's great. And at some point when I have an overabundance of things that I'm growing, I would love to get a freeze dryer. But right now I'm pretty, pretty good with with the setup that we have. Let me know if there's a method that you have used that you've found reliable. And if you're new to following, I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, and Friday.